Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. For those of you here in the States, a happy belated Thanksgiving. Right now, I'm on the bench. It is a little bit dirty, I apologize for that, but I wanted to uh, share an app concept that we've been working on. You may be familiar with DronePan, which supports pretty much all DJI aircraft. Well, another app that we're currently beta testing is called Scribble Drone. Scribble Drone is currently in beta. It supports iPad as well as iPhone. DJI Phantom 4, 3, Inspire 1, and the newly released Mavic Pro. Most of my testing so far has been with the Phantom 4 and the Mavic Pro. Right now, as you can see in the background, I am in the simulator. So let me demonstrate how this will work. This is a simulated location, and I'm going to click draw. Then what I can do is just scribble a flight path. And now the DJI SDK only allows up to 100 waypoints. You can see there are 108. So I'll simplify it a little bit. This just helps you if you want to do some more elaborate paths and want to be able to simplify it as much as possible. Now you can see we're down to 44 waypoints. I'll go ahead and click pre-launch, set up some parameters. Now we have a linear flight path which will fly directly to the waypoint. Then it will yaw and turn and go to the next waypoint. So it'll basically go through every single waypoint. Whereas a curved flight path will be more of a smooth path around. So it might not necessarily pass through the waypoint, but actually give you a rounded path. So for now, we'll put it to curved. I'll set the altitude to let's say around 50 meters speed, 10 meters a second just for the sake of getting through this. I'll go ahead and click launch. Now we can see our altitude increasing. You can hear the beeping in the background. That's a low battery on the bench, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll continue to raise altitude to our mission height. And then what will happen is the aircraft will move over to the first waypoint and begin the mission. You can see the aircraft moving to there. This is actually a long mission. It's 4,211 meters. So it's gonna take a little while. And while it's flying this path, I'll go ahead and zoom in and you can see that at ground speed, this is pretty fast. It's actually going 10 meters a second going to these different waypoints. And once again, this in a, is in a curved flight mode. So you'll see that when it gets to this waypoint, it won't stop. It'll just continue to smoothly work its way around. Whereas in a linear mode, it would actually stop, turn, and then move on to the next waypoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this mission. I can toggle on my remote. I'll toggle back. That mission is canceled. Now let's just do a simpler uh, path because I wanna demonstrate something. So let's just do something like that. We'll simplify it all the way down. In this case, I'll do a linear flight path so we pass through each waypoint and so that you guys can see how that behaves. Now this is a much shorter path, it's 300 meters. It's gonna take about 31 seconds, but you'll see now that the aircraft stops, it yaws, flies forward to the next waypoint. We'll do the same thing. So that's what you get for a linear flight path. Definitely more exact motions. Now you can hear it beeping. At the end of the mission, what Scribble Drone will do is it'll issue the return to home command and that will go to whatever altitude you have set by default. I believe it's 80 meters and your aircraft will come home. I'm gonna override that by pressing this button. What will happen now is you can see that our aircraft has stopped and it's just hovering in position. And what I can do is I can just give it a little forward motion on the pitch stick, bring it back to where I want. Now, this is actually what would happen in the field. Even though this is simulated, all of these interactions are identical to what would happen if we were out of the field. So I'll go ahead and clear that. We can draw another path. I'll simplify it a bit. And we'll just say, we'll lower the altitude speed down to five meters a second, curve will launch it, and then the mission will begin again. You can see the aircraft headed towards the first waypoint. So this is the current beta. One thing that we're going to do in an upcoming release is introduce what will be 3D flight. So we'll be able to take these missions and rotate them around the X axis so it'll flip up and it will fly the loop instead of in a 2D plane at a fixed altitude it will fly in a 3D plane. You may be wondering about the usefulness of Scribble Drone. You guys that have followed my channel know I'm a big fan of autonomous flight. 
And while it's very cool to scribble a path and watch the aircraft fly that path, uh, one of the main intents behind Scribble Drone was for photographers, uh, creative types, artists, to create long exposure light paintings with their DJI aircraft. And here is just a simple example of a scribble that I did with a photographer buddy of mine. So I was able to do vertical flight, flew from one waypoint to the next, and during that autonomous flight, I'm actually able to yaw the aircraft. So it will fly along the path, and then I can give stick input. And with this long exposure, you can see this was done with the Mavic. The red lines represent the two LEDs on the front of the aircraft, and the green is the blinking LED on the rear. So pretty cool effect. I think this exposure was taken over about 10 seconds. Here is another path that I scribbled. It's just a circle. We wanted to test that. You can see here the aircraft is flying, pointed away from us. The green dots mean the rear of the Mavic Pro are facing us, and then it starts to turn around, and uh, the front LEDs are facing us. So that's a pretty cool effect. And lastly, here's another scribble we did with a longer vertical flight path while I was yawing the aircraft. Now, the interesting thing between this and the original, you'll see the red dotted path instead of the green. Now, I had gotten low on battery, and what happens is that green LED turns red. So this is the rear, and you can see that I'm just yawing the aircraft as it gains altitude. If you guys are interested in helping with the beta, giving feedback, even getting involved with the code, Scribble Drone is open source. It will be completely free, and definitely looking for beta testers. I'll put a link to our Facebook group below. So please join and let us know if you're interested in helping beta test. You can see just some of the examples that these photographers are doing with Scribble Drone. It's, it's pretty awesome. This is one of my favorite you can see here. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.